All right, guys, so today I am obviously gone, but I wanted you to be able to finish your jack-o'-lanterns. So, so far, most of us are in the same spot, and we have shading on one side of our pumpkin that's darker, and then we have the mouth filled in where our cutouts are, and we have the shadows that are left white, and then the background is left white so far. So, now that we have the left side shaded of our stem and our pumpkin, we're going to go ahead and choose our colors, our values for the background and the foreground. So that just means that we have to decide how dark or how light the ground is going to be and the background behind the pumpkin. So I'm going to lay this flat for just a second and I'm going to take one of my charcoals. I'm going to turn it on its side just like we did before. And I'm just going to do kind of a medium underneath my pumpkin. So I'm just going up to that ground line right now. Okay, so it's kind of like that. So it's not the same shading as my pumpkin. I'm not going super, super black because we still wanna have a shadow underneath where the pumpkin's sitting. So once you have that, you can use your fingers just like we did last week to rub it in. I'm actually gonna use a Kleenex right now. If you want, you can grab a Kleenex if you don't wanna get your hands dirty. And we're just gonna wipe that bottom area. So stay out of your pumpkin. This is only that bottom area. So it kind of smooths it out just like that, okay? Now, underneath, we're gonna have a shadow for where our pumpkin is sitting. So since we did the left side of our pumpkin before, we have to do the left side shadow on the bottom of the ground. So basically, I'm gonna be coming right underneath the pumpkin and then a little bit out in a circular motion, and I'll show you right now. So I'm tipping it on my side, and I'm just making a shadow so that it looks like it's sitting on the table, like that. And then you can use your Kleenex again to smooth out. Now if you smooth it too much, it's going to disappear, and I actually kind of just did that a little bit. So it's going to not be as dark. So don't smooth it out too much, and if you take too much away, you can always go back and add some more in. Remember that if you have dust on the table, I don't want you to blow it around or shake it on the table. Just wait until you're all finished and then you can dump it in the garbage. So then you have something like that, okay? Now the background, same deal. You need to have it not the same color as your pumpkin. So I'm gonna do mine really light. So I'm gonna do it. And then I'm going to wipe some away with my Kleenex. So my background's going to hopefully be lighter than my pumpkin here. And when I use my Kleenex, it'll fill in some of those gaps. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but try your best to get it as close to the pumpkin as you can so there's not like this, what I just left, a little... I don't know if you can see it, let me see. This little white halo right there. You wanna get those things filled in. So I'm gonna go back in with my chalk one more time and add a little bit closer to my pumpkin. So that I don't have that weird white halo around, okay? Now, once you have the background and the foreground done, so it's all filled, let me scoot it down so you can see the stem. Once it's like that, you're going to go back with your charcoal and you're going to put back in some of those darks to your stem. You're going to do your black lines again in case some of them got smooth. You can outline the edge of your pumpkin like so. Okay? So once you're finished, it should be something in that realm. Okay? Once you're finished today, since I'm gone, I'm just going to let you free draw or you can use something out of the Michelangelo box. Do not put all of your jack-o'-lanterns in a pile once you're finished. Just go ahead and go make sure that your name is on the back of them and put them on the drying rack. I know they're not wet, but that'll keep them all separate enough for me to spray them later so that your chalk doesn't smear. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next week.